my brand new CVO Roguelite ST. Let's get into it. All right, what's going on YouTube? FXCLS Brooklyn is back in the building. Coming at you live from probably one of the happiest I've ever been in my entire life. Yeah, that is the situation. Harley Davidson literally handed me the keys to probably the most formidable CVO they have ever made, which is none other than the CVO Roguelide ST. When this one came out, I think there was a lot of jaw dropping. There was a lot of, yeah, Harley Davidson, you got this one right in terms of what a CVO stands to be, which is the most, the most premium factory custom Harley Davidson, something you could literally buy, ride into the sunset, and not have to do literally anything. So yeah, that's the situation. They put me on, I'm out here in Daytona, Florida, scenic Daytona, Florida. We got everything out here. We got the subway. We got, uh, let's see, what's up there? Wagner car crash, a lot, lot of palm trees, a lot of good stuff out here. They put me on the 2024 Rogue Glide first, which honestly, I was very impressed with. Having, be, having been the last Rogue Glide I rode was back in 2019. Super impressed with that. So they wanted to give me a little taste of the modern uh, Rogue Glide platform. And then they busted out the big guns, which is this. I I do think in terms of a conspiracy theory that Harley Davidson is trying to change my mind in regards to the capabilities of the performance bagger life and with this one let me tell you all they are definitely probably succeeding this is something else y'all so yeah we started with the 2024 roguelite which if, if i put videos out on that already i've been really happy with it i was really impressed and like i said now we got the big guns which is this so i have this bike to ride around the entirety of the rally here in daytona so i'm blown away um just in terms of my moto vlogging career like y'all know me i started I started doing this. I started doing this over eight years ago. Literally, just ripping dinas around New York City. Nothing crazy. Turning GoPros on and yapping. I never thought that a company like Harley Davidson would be having enough trust in me to give me something like this. And it's not just a CVO Roguelite ST. They gave it to me with literally zero miles on it. So there was no miles on this. No one had ridden this thing. So like, again, I'm just gonna. I had a really hard year last year. If y'all followed me, I'm not going to go into detail. So I'm just going to take a minute to kind of savor. Hey, what's up? Hey, you it? No, no, no. I'm, I'm good. I'm shooting a video. <laughs> yeah, I do. I do YouTube. My bad. I appreciate that though, man. No, man. The biker, the biker community is strong out here. Oh yeah. Yeah. No, we're good, man. Thank you. But let me tell you, man, people have been awesome out here in a situation like that. Like, I'm just shooting a video. Dude thought I was broke down. But yeah, let me just say, people have been awesome out here. But I'm getting off track. That's the situation. Like I said, Harley Davidson gave me this bike. So you're going to see a lot of content on a CVO Rogue Glide ST. This is a hard bike to get. And this is probably the biggest investment you could make in terms of a Harley Davidson. So in terms of content that might actually help somebody make an informed decision, I'm going to have a lot of content coming forward on this bike to add to some of the great content that's already out there on this bike so that's what you could expect what i'll do is i'll just go around and i'll just point out some of the things that immediately jump out to me that i'm really excited about and then we'll actually throw the kickstand up and go for a little ride so first and foremost why don't we work our way forward to back um fairing and lighting system pretty amazing you know definitely a similar situation to what they had on the road glide i just rode love this love the styling point love the paint itself this this shade of white this shade of white sand pearl is really really attractive i love it interesting that they went with the red highlights there's been so much white and gold lately so cool to see something different but let's talk about performance you have a carbon fiber fender that's always good more importantly you have an inverted front end and gotta love that my favorite thing about my lowrider st and speaking of which on all my bikes i run this situation with brembo calipers and heavy duty rotors so this bike stops on a dime they definitely did their homework on the brake setup so very happy about that also if you ride in challenging environments bike drops happen they do have a crash bar this bike's made Sorry, I should say engine guard. This bike's made to rip on the track, so love that. And of course, the creme de la creme, a 121 high output motor. This thing is an absolute ripper. The 117 is an absolute ripper. So y'all, they're pulling no punches with this one. So definitely got to give a shout out to that. That's no joke. Carbon fiber seat cal, serious heavy duty suspension. Probably the comparison that most people are gonna make is to Olean's. Gotta love that. 
the bars this is as dyna bro as you're gonna get in terms of a stock bar setup harley davidson is getting much better at at giving us better bar stock so this is a great example of that and this little fast johnny logo right here is just sick <laughs> i love that whoever at the factory decided that was a good idea excellent that's it y'all so the short end of it you know like i'm sure there's like hundreds and hundreds of hours out there already on this bike but the short end of what this bike is to me in comparison to its other bikes is a extremely premium dialed in harley davidson with premium brakes a monster motor lighter and better handling than anything else in its class like that's what this stands to be to me and i think that's definitely what this bike achieves but yeah i know you probably want me to talk about the infotainment system look it's cool and everything but y'all know me i don't really run speakers or anything like that on my bike so i've been getting a lot of um enjoyment out of it for sure but yeah the, info the infotainment system i love this sleek look i love that there's it's clean there's no gauges it's also just again i don't run any bikes with this type of technology super intuitive super user friendly Yes, Harley Davidson. Well done, Harley Davidson. Let's go for a ride. Let's go for a ride. In the beautiful morning mist out here, in the streets of Daytona Beach. So yeah, first impressions just in terms of me being on this thing and riding it, like, I'll tell you what, man, and let me tell you, you guys know my bikes, man, I'm coming in, I'm coming correct with my garage. I got a Dyna Lowrider S, I got a FXDX, I got an FXR, all top of the line suspension, of course I got my Lowrider ST, all top of the line suspension, all top of the line performance, and man, the thing absolutely gets up and goes, we'll take it down a little bit but top of the line it, it definitely achieves what this bike is supposed to do which is top of the line performance front and center while still having some iconic styling points as we can see in terms of what it feels like to ride this bike yo you don't have to do anything to these bars i'm pretty happy with the riding position with these bars as they are stock so they definitely have that dialed in In terms of what it feels like, this, and again, like I said, I'm coming with the big guns in my garage. This is probably by far the smoothest Harley Davidson I have ever ridden. By far the smoothest Harley Davidson I've ever ridden in every condition. So, I mean, yeah, we're out here in Florida. It's definitely been a lot of flat miles in comparison to what I usually do, but let me tell you guys this bike achieves the magic carpet ride like no other bike i've ever ridden i could 100 percent feel that i am on a very special bike that stands apart from the rest which i get which again i think that is what harley davidson is striving to achieve with their cvo line but man this is a very special bike i could tell you that you know the biggest takeaway first impression wise as you're looking down the bars of this bike you're right here with me is again the most notable thing about this bike is there's no changes you should make like i sit on this bike there's literally no changes i would make to it you all know my riding style it's sport touring it's go fast it's go far it's crush miles no no changes need to be made on this bike which is a crazy thing for the harley davidson crowd because we are known for making our bikes all unique to ourselves but i would just say like if you know what you want and you want like an and you want an absolute performance powerhouse that will also do the bike trips and do the and do the heavy miles 
while also being something that's going to be super iconic and probably go down in history as one of the one of the best bikes Harley Davidson's ever made, this is probably the bike for you. You know, any dealership I've talked to, they can't keep these bikes on the shelves. People are pre-ordering these bikes way before they even come in. And honestly, I could see why, you know? So I don't think this is necessarily a bike that's gonna be accessible for the public to test ride. I'm in a very unique position because of what I do here on YouTube. But what I can tell you is, yeah, this bike definitely checks off all of the boxes and that's coming from someone that is not living the bagger lifestyle not living the performance bagger lifestyle i am a dyna fxr bro through and through so this bike a hundred percent achieves what i would want out of a bike which is performance first and foremost it handles it stops on a dime It absolutely rips. The power is there. It's an absolute looker aesthetically. It checks all the boxes, y'all. It, it, it just does it, you know? Slow speed maneuvers, brother. Woo! Glad that seat's got a little uh, step up there, man. This horse will throw you off if you're not ready for that type of pull. But that's it, y'all. I'm going to pull up to the old Hilton here. It's got the road captain up here. Wanted to get some miles in, so we're going to do that. Let's park this thing. Let's, let's be a real... Uh, let's park this thing right up here. Perfect. Right, right in this majestic fountain. It's a spot that this uh, bike deserves to be in. I'm only staying here for a second. That all right, and that's it for this one. That is the first impressions on this beautiful bike, the CVO Rogue Glide ST. Um, if you want this bike, I don't blame you. I want this bike. <laughs> and again, that's coming from someone that has never been interested in any bagger. This is the one that I would be interested in. So as always, y'all, stay safe and stay low. If you want more content, it's coming, y'all. On that, Epic Steelers Brooklyn is out.